About a decade ago, I warned the general public about the dangers of using Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And those dangers can be summed up in two words, bladed weapons. I was in a bad position on my back. Break, 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 break. Then my opponent break. pulled something I didn't expect, a knife. Break, break, break. He stabbed you like eight times. You didn't even see the knife. Good to go, that happens in the ground fight. Today, I want to warn you about one more thing. It's a practice that's become evident throughout the world. I'm seeing it more and more, and it's very, very dangerous because it is also tactically incorrect for hand-to-hand -hand combat. What is it? It's called Fat Ninja Training. Fat ninjas are, are generally very obese individuals who can move their hands really fast. Come to think of it, so can baton twirlers. And then in they have become, they've be been transformed through the process of their studies into fat ninjas. When fat ninjas are attacked, they whip out a big knife and then stab and slash and hack and rip the person to death 500 times before his body hits the ground because they're fat ninjas. All kidding aside, folks, using a bladed weapon to kill somebody is a horrible, terrible thing. It's not something that uh, should be taken lightly or something that should be studied in the context of how tough and terrible a fat ninja that you actually are. My advice for what it's worth, and remember, I'm the person who predicted what would happen with the U.S. Army hand-to-hand -hand combat training curriculum. My advice is take it seriously. Study historic fencing. Study classical fencing. That's my personal favorite. But whatever you do, take it seriously. If somebody is showing you how to use a knife and they're ripping and wrapping and slashing and they're very obviously a fat ninja, treat them as such. See you later.